All right, so I've got a polarizing beam splitter here shooting down to an aperture that's set up at the end of the table. It's probably gonna be really hard to see this beam, but I'm gonna turn it on anyway. Oh, it, no, you can kind of see it. So you see how there's a beam that does not go through the aperture down there. So all I'm gonna do is basically, you know, manipulate the, the pointers on my polarizing beam splitter until, you know, everything goes through that aperture. So let me just do that right now. Where did my laser beam go? Being ever so careful not to put my finger in the beam or touch anything else. All right, perfect. So my laser beam is going through that aperture and hitting the backstop back there. Um, this beam's set up to be at five inches, so you can kind of make out the five inch uh, horizontal there. So everything's just about right. So now, now I'm gonna put my um, alignment tool on the, let me just walk over there. So I've got this handy dandy alignment tool from Canoptics, which basically is just a hole in a tube. And am I zoomed in right now? Yeah, there we go. So what I'll do is I'll just put that in the path of the beam and then basically I'm just going to move, I'm basically going to move the two screws that are on the bottom side of this um, thing until the electro-optic modulator is both lifted and sort of tilted in the right direction. So there are different ways to do this. I like to do it with a, um, you know, basically just a regular beam, uh, like power meter. So I've got this power meter adjusted to measure things at the right height. So I'll just basically put this power meter at the outlet over here. And if everything's going well, you know, everything should be centered on it. Okay, so where's my power meter number? 